Let's hook up a GX600 and watch this baby flow. First thing we want to do is hook up the feed water. For this experiment, I'm just going to take off the hose coupler and use a hose union fitting that's included in the accessory pack. Simply going to thread this on, make sure it's good and tight. And although I'm going to plumb this unit with 3 8 tubing, it's recommended that you plumb it with half inch or at least a garden hose. You get more flow to this unit, but it will work fine with 3 8 tubing, especially if you're going to use a booster pump. So here we are plumbed in. Next thing I'm going to do is hook up my drain fitting. Notice the drain assembly is different than our smaller units. It comes completely pre-wired and you hook it up yourself. And this is really simple to do. The black tube is always our waistline and it goes right to the top of the membrane housing up there. And it will be labeled out of the box. You'll see a, a P-touch label. And I'm just going to push it in like that. And the white tube is our RO out, which goes right here. And I'm just going to push that in, making sure it seats all the way in there. Now, you can extend this tube as well. If you want your drain assembly to come out this way or out the back of your unit, we give you plenty of tubing in the box. Shape it any way you want. Like all of our filters, our GX600 comes with a manual flush valve. And before we fire it up, we want to make sure it's closed. And that's it. Now we're going to hook up drain tubing. Drain tubing, always follow the black line on any GrowOnyx GX product. Here's my drain tube. I'm just going to run it into the sink for this demonstration. But remember, it goes to your drain saddle. And if you want to look at our earlier units, we'll demonstrate how to hook up a drain saddle. I'm going to take some white tubing. Here's my RO tubing, my RO out. Make sure you push it in there all the way. So that's it, four simple steps and you're hooked up. Hook up your input tubing here. Connect your drain and RO saddle right here. White RO out tubing, white black drain tubing, and you're done. Now just as with any RO filter, we don't want to bring in the water pressure full right at first. Bring it in slowly, let the pre-filters fill up, let the air bleed out of the system. You're going to hear it coming out the drain tubing. And when all the pre-filters are filled, you're going to hear the water moving through the membrane this way. When all the air bubbles stop, then we can give it full water pressure. About half pressure, 40 PSI. You'll notice my pressure gauges are still down at zero because my pre-filters have not filled up yet. I'm starting to see some air and water spit out the drain tubing. I can hear water moving into the membrane now, so the pre-filters are just about filled. It takes a while, so be patient. This thing holds a lot of water. Okay, I can see my input pressure gauge rising. I got water coming out of the drain side of the membrane now, and now I can give it full water pressure. And there we go, we're running. GX600 is flowing. 